The story centers around Sherman Klump, an overweight and clumsy science professor. Despite being well liked by his students and peers, his clumsiness often lands him in trouble. One morning, as he walks to his job at Wellman College, he is shocked to find the campus overrun by over 5,000 hamsters. This infestation leads to chaos as the rodents invade people's pants and sandwiches. These hamsters, originally lab animals, were accidentally set free. An investigation reveals that Sherman's protruding belly inadvertently pressed a button, releasing the hamsters from their cages. Once the situation is under control, Sherman visits his favorite experimental hamster, Shelley, who is also overweight. Sherman and his team have been working on a formula that can reconstruct the DNA of obese individuals, making weight loss easier and faster. They successfully use the serum on Shelley, demonstrating its effectiveness by causing the hamster to lose three ounces in just one day. Eager to learn more, Sherman's lab assistant, Jason, suggests increasing Shelley's food intake, but Sherman worries about the potential harm to the animal. Subsequently, Sherman is summoned to the dean's office to discuss the hamster incident. He learns that the science department's funding has been severely impacted due to the hamster debacle. Harlan, the college's last remaining alumnus, plans to donate $10 million to the school, but the dean cautions Sherman to be cautious with his experiments to avoid losing this vital support. In his class, Sherman's belly inadvertently erases the board, amusing his students, and he joins in their laughter. He then meets Miss Carla, a chemistry graduate, a new teacher, who praises his work and expresses her admiration for him. Intrigued by her beauty and kindness, Sherman becomes smitten. After a family dinner with his overweight relatives, Sherman realizes the need for change, especially since his father takes pride in being overweight and unhealthy. Despite his father's hurtful words, Sherman's mother, Anna, comforts him, boosting his self-esteem. Inspired by his mother's support, Sherman gathers the courage to ask Miss Carla out on a date. To his delight, she accepts, and they plan to meet at the Scream on Friday. Overjoyed, Sherman prepares eagerly. He attends Zumba classes, hits the gym, and undergoes acupuncture sessions in the days leading up to the date. On Friday, the couple enjoys the beginning of their date at a club, but things take a turn when an insult comic named Reggie takes the stage. Reggie mocks the audience's appearances, and when he targets Sherman, the jokes hit hard. This ruins the date, but Carla comforts Sherman and praises his brilliance. Despite this, Sherman's confidence falters, leading him to binge on junk food and disregard his progress. In a dream, Sherman envisions himself on a beach with Carla, but his weight causes her to get buried in the sand. This nightmare jolts him awake, and a TV show host motivates him to take action. Determined to make a lasting change, Sherman decides to use his lab serum on himself. He administers the serum at midnight, despite encountering initial complications. The following morning, Sherman awakens and is shocked to find himself transformed into a fit young man. Overwhelmed with emotion, he realizes his progress and newfound appearance. He revels in his physical changes, gaining confidence and proudly flaunting his body. While working in the lab, Carla seeks out Sherman, but he introduces himself as Buddy Love, a lab assistant, and flirts with her, even asking her out on a date. Carla is initially hesitant but agrees to the date. However, during their conversation, Sherman's fingers begin to swell, indicating a transformation back to his old self. He excuses himself to avoid being caught mid-change. Carla later meets with Buddy, who encourages her to accept Buddy Love's proposal and highlights his positive attributes. At the club, Buddy arrives in a sports car, a symbol of his transformation, and he confidently confronts Reggie during the comedian's performance, responding with his own insults. This marks a turning point in Buddy's self-assurance and newfound assertiveness. By the end of the night, a Yo Mama joke battle unfolds, with Buddy emerging as the victor. In his fury, Reggie launches an attack on Buddy for stealing the spotlight but ends up crashing into the piano. The crowd erupts in cheers for Buddy, while Carla remains unimpressed. Amidst the excitement, Buddy and Carla share a kiss and a fleeting romantic moment. However, Buddy's lower lip starts to swell, and he attributes it to an allergic reaction before hurrying outside. Coincidentally, Jason, Sherman's lab assistant, is at the bar and observes a waiter handling a card belonging to Buddy, not realizing it's Sherman's. Jason tails Buddy, only to witness Sherman undergoing a transformation. As Sherman swells and changes, Jason realizes the truth. Later, Sherman is too large to fit through his car door and needs help to get out. The next morning, Sherman is late for class, greeted by an angry dean. 
The dean confronts Sherman about an extravagant purchase made using Sherman's faculty account but pardons the indiscretion with a warning. Carla expresses confusion over her feelings for Buddy and her discomfort with his behavior. Sherman dismisses her concerns and invites her to a second date with his family, which Carla eagerly accepts. During dinner with Sherman's family, Carla faces uncomfortable and intrusive questions. After a disastrous dinner, Sherman apologizes and walks Carla home. She expresses interest in Buddy and hopes he will call. Realizing Carla's preference for Buddy, Sherman transforms into Buddy once again, much to Jason's disapproval. Buddy's testosterone levels surge with each serum dose, making him rowdy and distinct from Sherman. Buddy outsmarts Jason and escapes. That night, Buddy secures another date with Carla but is also tasked with pitching the weight loss serum idea to Harlan at a hotel. Carla convinces Buddy to do so for the college's sake. Buddy delivers an inappropriate presentation, infuriating Carla. The dean appoints Buddy to Sherman's position and tasks him with a final demonstration at the alumni ball. Buddy revels with women that night. The next morning, Sherman wakes up with the women and realizes Buddy's presence is overpowering. Carla witnesses Sherman with the women, assuming he's just as unfaithful as Buddy. Sherman is dismissed from his position, leaving him unsure of his next step. At home, Sherman discovers a taunting message from Buddy, motivating him to destroy the serum with Jason's help. Unbeknownst to Sherman, Buddy taints a drink with the serum. Sherman unknowingly drinks it and rushes to the alumni ball. Jason sees a warning message on the computer, indicating lethal testosterone levels. At the ball, Buddy demonstrates the serum's effects, but Jason intervenes before Buddy can consume more serum. Buddy's arm swells as Sherman fights for control, preventing Buddy from taking more serum. The transformation is reversed, surprising everyone, including Carla and Sherman's parents. Sherman admits the experiment's failure and his determination to accept himself. Carla offers Sherman a dance, showing her appreciation for his inner self. The story ends with them dancing, and Hartley decides to contribute to Sherman's project despite the experiment's outcome. Thanks for watching.